this is VBS Office, and today I will be showing you how to make an Ubuntu virtual machine on an M1 Mac. Let's get started. So, the first thing we need to do is, of course, get the UTM file, which is the virtual machine manager we're going to be using. It's called the UTM, so you just have to go UTM, download, and we're not going to do Mac App Store because that will cost money, but they have a free download option, so we're just going to download that. Skipping ahead, it's finished, so let's go unpack it. And instead of dragging it straight to here, that which would create a shortcut, we want to drag this straight into the Applications folder. Okay. So now it is loaded. And let's start this up. So, um, so go to the UTM that we just got. Open. And here you go. We, uh, I already have a VM, of course, but I'm going to show you how to create one. So, the first thing we need is the Ubuntu ARM ISO. So, you can grab that at Ubuntu, um, Ubuntu Desktop Focal Fossa ARM. Okay, here it is, top one. Now, do the ARM one. Don't do AMD64, because that's Intel. So, this is the one we want, the bottom on ARM, because that would be for M1. So, after you finish downloading that one, which I already have, into over here, Focal Desktop ARM64, then we can create our virtual machine. So... The first thing that we need is, well, we want to click this plus icon and go start from scratch. And we're going to call this, I'm going to call this YouTube, YT as in YouTube. Yeah, let's go icon. I'm going to go operating system. I'll just make it, yeah, I'll leave it as a computer. And um, let's go to system. Change the architecture to ARM64. That's the first thing we need to do. And then for me, since I have an 8 gigabyte of RAM, I'm going to use a 3,072 megabytes of RAM. Like that. So, now I, um, so now that's all set up. I'm going to go over to drives, and we're going to go new drive. And I want mine to be 20 gigs. This is going to be where the actual Ubuntu is stored. So 20 gigs, just leave all the other options empty. We're going to go create. We're just going to leave that. And then let's go another new drive. But this one, check the removable box. And then we can press create. So that should be all. Now you can press save. And then we could make sure this is selected. And then go to the CD slash DVD drop down. Go browse. And then get the ISO that we just downloaded. So, here it is. Open. And now it's loaded. You can tell from over here. So now you can press the play. And of course you can full screen it if you want, but I'm just going to leave this not full screen or unfull screened. Whatever. I'm just going to try without installing. You can of course install it. It's pretty straightforward. It's like how you do usually install Ubuntu and it's just loading okay it's taking a little while usually from once you have it installed it should take pretty fast but oh there it is so now we have um so now that we have this installed uh, well, we don't have it installed. Well, not for me. This is running straight off of the ISO file. But I'm going to show you a little trick if it is installed. So in Ubuntu 20.4, if you have a disk image, it'll show like a little icon there. 
and it'll be kind of annoying if you always have the ISO disk image showing in your dock. So after you have it installed, I'm just going to go shut this down. You should use the shutdown if this is actually going to be your VM, but since I'm going to be deleting this after the video, I don't really need to worry about that. Anyways, um, so um, in order to remove that disk image after you've installed it to the hard disk, it's pretty straightforward. You just have to go to CD slash DVD and go clear. And now the icon will be removed from the dock. So that is how to install a UTM and an Ubuntu VM on M1. I'm VBS Office, and I'll see you next time. Bye.